Good morning. Today's vlog is all about how to get yourself out of a bad mood when you have woken up on the wrong side of the bed. Because guess who woke up on the wrong side of the bed today? I did. So I woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning There for no reason. I um, got to sleep in. My husband was kind enough to give me a nice long sleep in because we had a bit of a late night. Uh, so there's really no reason for me to be in a bad mood. And this is the thing about feelings. Feelings come and go. So we can't really trust them per se um, as the absolute truth. We should listen to our feelings. You know, it, so for example, I'm in a bad mood today. It might mean I need a little bit more self-care today. So I need to have a nice quiet cup of coffee or I need to... Um, you know, take a nice long bath, for example. Um, so we should listen to our feelings, but we shouldn't allow our feelings to kind of rule us. So I'm going to try to get out of my own way in my bad mood. And the first thing I'm going to do is coffee. Ah, coffee. However, I can't even see my coffee. Okay, I can see my coffee maker, but my coffee maker is surrounded by all this crap. So I'm going to clean up first. For me, I really like to clean up. Like, I, I just... Like, okay, no, do I really like to clean up? I don't know, but I love the result of having a clean house. So I'm actually gonna take a few minutes right now and clean the house and then um, have a cup of coffee. I like to have this room clean when I can. So I'm gonna do a Fast and Furious tidy. Here's the before. Dun, 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 dun. And here is the after, complete with a little baby and my husband. My husband makes the room look prettier. Okay, so now that the house is cleaner and I can actually see my coffee maker properly, it's time for some coffee and some food. Food and coffee always raise my mood elevator. Well, my friends, I may have um, spoken too soon about the house being cleaner. Hey, Joseph. What are you doing? Oh. Yeah, you're just, oh, what are you doing? Is that you helping mommy clean up? Is that you helping mommy clean up? <laughs> what do toddlers think about in their heads? Okay, time for mommy to clean up again. Uh, cool. Honestly, there is no more glorious sound to me than this sound. The other thing that always improves my mood is this game that we play with our fifth child, Joseph. It's called like this. Okay, so when I'm in a bad mood, the other thing I really like to do is have aimless time with my kids. So just like reading a story or cuddling. We have this little tradition that we now call um, cuddle parties, which was, I think, a line from uh, the Zootopia. Oh, no, no, Finding Dory movie, right, John? Uh -huh. I think it was a line from Finding Dory. So we do cuddle parties, and since everybody is home today from school, a cuddle party should be fairly easy. Who wants to have a cuddle party with Mommy? <laughs> So we're not gonna see. We're having a cuddle party. <laughs> oh, and there's Shimmer and Shine. Shimmer and Shine have joined us for the cuddle party. I like cuddle parties. Oh, James, hi. And sometimes when I am not feeling in the best of moods, sometimes a little physical activity is exciting. So I'm going to attempt to take all my children for a walk. Some are more excited about it than others. So getting my family completely ready out the door to take a walk requires a little bit of coordination. Number one, I'm nursing the baby so the baby doesn't cry. Number two, what do we need to get on, Evelyn? Jacket, mix, hat, and a um, so getting all of those mitts and hats. Thankfully, my three oldest kids are very Mommy. helpful, aren't you? You're so helpful, yeah, Evelyn. I helped with the charm that I made today. Mommy, you are so are? helpful. Um, yeah. No, that's no that's right. This is my myth that we need to wear. Yeah. That's it. All right. So we're going to go out and get some... Get some exercise. Okay, so honestly, getting out the door is success for me, to be honest, any day. If it's school, if it's a walk, if it's going to church, anything, literally. It's a success if I make it out the door in one piece with all the kids. Guys, what was the funny thing Mommy did as we were walking? What did Mommy almost forget to do? New baby! 
yeah, I was fully, fully bad, ready bad, and bad, totally bad, ready to go. Bad, 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 and then I realized, oopsies, I left the baby in the carrier still in the living room. But we are walking. We're going to go get some treats, I think, enjoying this lovely day. Here we go. Hi, Evelyn. Hi, Mama. Are you having fun on our walk? Yeah. And I'm walking. with you. James, you're on the way. <laughs> Who's going to push the stroller? Oh, nice. Okay, so it's a lovely day for a walk. Can you guys not pull the stroller like that? These are our treats. Mm, yum. Evelyn, what do you think of our treats? Yum, 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 yum. Okay, sure. Egg tart, delicious. Should we get a few egg tarts? What do you think? I see that. Who's excited to eat their treats? Me. Mommy, here you go. You have sugar all in your hair. I'm not getting me some money. You get sugar in your hair. Daddy, I'm not getting me some money. You look like a gingerbread girl. <laughs> okay, so my, my children are completely full of sugar, and I should have maybe uh, <laughs> realized that there would be consequences to these actions because six kids all home from school full of sugar, this is what ensues. So another strategy that I like to employ when I am down in the dumps and my mood elevator is way low is to do something in my strength finder strength. So I'm um, a little bit obsessed with strength finder because I think it's a great tool. Um, it's a personality assessment tool and basically out of 34 predetermined traits, it ranks you on your top five by taking an online quiz. And I love strength finder. I think it's a great thing if you are trying to um, you know, get into a new career or if you want to, um, stay in your zone of genius, so to speak. So, you know, you want to get better at using your time wisely, wasting less time. You know, I'm sure you can think of tasks where you don't understand why it's so hard for you to do, for example. Well, it's probably because it's not in your strength. So Strength Finder is a really interesting, illuminative tool, and I really love it. So I try to do something in my top five Strength Finder strengths. So one of those uh, top strengths is strategic. So I'm going to go and try to do something strategic. I'm currently writing a book, as I shared about in a previous video. And so I think I'm going to um, take some time right now and brainstorm and strategize some things that I need to still sort out for my book. All right, so it's the end of the day. I'm happy to report that my mood elevator, my mood elevator is way up. <laughs> Excuse you, Joseph. And um, I want to just recap some of the strategies that I use when I am not having the best of days. So the first thing I want to say is that your feelings, feelings we should listen to, but we shouldn't necessarily believe them. I woke up today feeling like it was the worst day ever, and it turned out to be a great day. If I had listened to that feeling, I probably would have been really cranky and down in the dumps. Uh, sorry, if I believed that feeling, I probably would have been really cranky and down in the dumps all day. But I did listen to it, and then I practiced a little bit of self-care. So that brings me to the next point, which is coffee. For me, coffee solves a lot of problems. <laughs> so coffee is always a good strategy for me. And making sure I eat something. Um, then I um, love a little bit of physical activity, just like even just being outside, even if it's just in your own like front porch, I think physical activity goes a long way and some fresh air can be really helpful in improving your mood. And then finally doing something in your strength finder strengths. For me, this is like a real key. Um, whenever I feel just like unmotivated or really, really sad or um, down in the dumps for whatever reason, I um, really enjoy doing things in uh, in my strength finder strengths. And then of course, for me, aimless time with these munchkins <laughs> and physical contact with these munchkins is also really helpful. So I'd love to hear in the comments below, what do you do when you are feeling down in the dumps? What do you do to get yourself out of a funk or a bad mood? I'd love for you, if you like this video, to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And um, I'll see you next time where I'm, I talk about how to, design, how to design your life around what matters most in the midst of raising my six kids and, raise, and uh, running my interior design business. Okay, guys, until next time. Bye. Can you say bye? Bye-bye.